This is just a short follow-up video on some additional repair work I did on this Heathkit IM5225 FET multimeter. When I first restored this Heathkit meter in 2018, there was a problem I couldn't resolve. The meter movement had a higher resistance than it should, which resulted in readings being too low and inaccurate. I had no success in trying to clean or repair the meter movement. My hope was to find a replacement meter movement. After a few years of no luck finding an exact replacement meter movement, I looked at using an off-the-shelf 200 microamp meter movement that might fit. This past January, I located and purchased a new replacement 200 microamp meter from eBay that looked like it might fit. While not exactly the same size, I was able to get it to fit in the case with some changes to the mechanical mounting. I had to cut a small notch in the bottom back of the meter case in order to clear one of the function switches. The meter is slightly narrower so it doesn't quite fill the opening, but this does allow the plus and minus LEDs to fit on either side. The new meter had a single 0 to 200 microamp current scale and the original meter scale would not fit. So I removed and scanned the original scale, then printed it on paper and glued it to the new movement. With the new meter movement, I was able to properly zero the meter and adjust the ohms function for full scale and get accurate readings. I still need to run through the full calibration procedure. This was the only Heathkit in my collection that wasn't fully working, so I was pleased to find a way to restore it, even if it's not completely original.